Hey, welcome back to Near Automata. I see a body. There's a body. Is it's it 9S? Blonde. It's blonde, it's not 9S. Oh. But I can't do anything with it. I'm pretty sure it's dead. <clears throat> um, and continuing from the last time, and I was also mentioning this to you. Here's one. <laughs> and I been playing Dungeon Munchies. It's a really, really fun game. And and although like the game really doesn't have that many bugs in it since they try to put they try to like iron everything out before they release it. I did notice <gasps> Oh no explosion guy again <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this a different explosion guy, or did he, like, rebuild himself? I want to say he rebuilt himself based on this line of dialogue. I did not know he respawned. Whoa there! This place is still closed, kind sir and or madam. But yet not! There's absolutely nothing of value here, so don't let it distract you and run along now! Hmm... But I can't just send you off empty-handed, now can I? I would love to give you a souvenir of some kind, but I have nothing on me. What to do? What to do? Oh, wait! Maybe I can explode again! I know! I shall self-destruct once again, something, something. Okay. This will result in a, in a gain of useful materials. They are yours to keep. Ah, yes, for just smiles upon you today, for the second time. What you have collected my gifts? Please forget everything you saw here. Wait, question. Yes. Is it the same day? Because eight hours have passed since we talked to this guy last. Well, a day has 24 hours. Yes, but we don't know when we started this mission. Stop trying to screw up my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, there's, extra bit, there's an extra bit there. That's a promise you here. Goodbye. Only 40G and a dented plate. I want him to come back here and give me more. Isn't that worth me forgetting about it? So, I'm kind of glad that I picked it up when I did. Because between chapters 1 and the release of 2 was about 16 months and oh my god at the end of chapter one is a major cliffhanger not as bad as with the end of chapter two but it's still a cliffhanger so i want chapter three as soon as i can uh 20 months later Oh. I I think it only has a small staff of like three or four people working on it, so twenty months later. Oh, don't say that dude. I've already I, said it, it's over. I'm ho I'm hoping a year. Or less. Because it is a really, really good game. I'm not gonna say I don't believe you, but I've seen your taste in games. You also see my taste in movies. Yes, that too. That doesn't help your taste anymore. Come on! Neil... Green is Horrible? a guy is a guy who makes movies. I could say that about anybody that was like making shitty fucking like college movies. No, 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 but oh, let no. Let let me just check here. Uh, Never want to go through that mission again. <clears throat> I 
Uh, let's check on Steam. It it currently has 2,514 reviews with a overwhelmingly positive viewpoint on the game. Oh, I can't go to it. All right, I guess we'll go here. So, dude, if if it has overwhelmingly positive with over 2,500 reviews, you know it has to be good. Right? I know that there are people that have terrible taste. You are just one of many. Are that you is, still... That, that includes the crazy people that actually watch us. Are you are you still mad that I made you watch Painful Findings? Yes. That was awful. I know. Back, back me up, people in comments. Faithful Findings is hilarious. It is an awful movie. Both Orion and I agree. It was terrible. It was it was literally borderline unwatchable. I, I'm sorry. I'm. What do you what? What do you think of the room, Ashley? Can you find humor in the room? It's very difficult, especially from a person who loves story, and the room just hates story. Okay, so... I... And trust me, when next time we do Random Musings, that's going to be part of the topic at hand. Oh, okay, okay, so that's... Because you did give me the topic that you wanted. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I will say Dungeon Munchies has a really good story to it. What's up? I'm looking for something called a dynamic scanner that can detect black box signals. A dynamic... Oh, you must mean the one the twins built. I think they're just back from an expedition, actually. Bullshit! You see some red-haired androids over there. Try talking to them. We saw them in the back earlier. To be. Those twins, they... Yes. Actually, never mind. What do you want? Easy, Devola. There's no need to be so confrontational. And you don't have to trust every idiot that wanders by. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. Can we help you? Wait, wait, wait. Are these twins supposed to be people we met before? Because they don't look familiar. We saw them standing in the background when we were back that way in the resistance camp. Oh. Which is why I said bull... Which is why I saw... When I saw them back there, I was surprised because I never knew they were back there. Oh. And why I called bullshit when they said they were in the back. They, they were off on a mission. I'm like, bullshit. I saw them back there before. Oh. They were hiding. I need a scanner that can detect faint black box signals. Ah, uh, yeah. I was tinkering with something like that a little while back. Here, if you want it, it's all yours. That chip should help with your search. Once you install it, it can detect black box signals, quest objects, all manner of things. You'll hear a sound whenever it finds something. And if it ever bugs you too much, you can always pop it back out. Let us know if there's anything else you need from us, okay? And it can, e it can even detect points. save points. Oh, also, fourth wall breaks. <laughs> That's a pod program. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Skills, pod program. Alright. And I think. There we go. There we go. Yeah. But I, I think I may have skin. brought this up a few episodes ago when I was first starting it. Mm -hmm. But in Dungeon Munchies, enemies 
do you all put like food based items <clears throat> like like the octopus tentacle for example that you can use to make dishes to power yourself up and I would say and there's in the, the two chapters there's close to a hundred maybe a little bit more and you can use any seven at once so the customization of your skill set is insane what like and it's interesting that your character sprite changes for every ability you have. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can have a crab claw, a fish tail, and a beehive on your head. Interesting. So, I'm just wondering how the sprite sheet for the game must look like. Is, like, every piece of your character its own sprite? Uh, it could be. It's possible. It's just on different layers. Maybe, maybe. I'm very upset he was over here. What, a good musical friend? Yeah, he was over here for a second, and now he took off somewhere else. Hmm. Oh. There he is. Neil. Alright, I need to go shopping. You guys need to go shopping. <laughs> the happy Johnny tune. What's he got? Rusted clump, broken key, warped wire. You know what? I don't have many of these. Why not? I forget, are those upgrade parts? Uh, they can be, yes. Let's get like 16. <clears throat> and you were saying that I was a little bit crazy for getting the Had in Time soundtrack last- I didn't say you were crazy. I just said I've never really seen a reason to get a soundtrack on a PC. W would there be any game, like, of past or present that you would want the soundtrack for? Uh, this game would be one. But I mean, like, again, on a PC it doesn't really make sense to me because I can just, you know, go over to YouTube and just put there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I also picked up the Dungeon Munchies soundtrack since it was only like three bucks when I bought it with the game. And that has a kick ass soundtrack, by the way, so. Although the soundtrack doesn't cover chapter one, which is slightly disappointing. Oh, and going back to bad movies and the such, how would you take it if we potentially, this is just here. potentially now, get a PlayStation 2 emulator and have just a day of just doing crappy budget games. I mean, I guess? Because I do know one that's kind of good-bad. Oh 
my god, an elevator. Where are we gonna go? And I'm sorry that I like good bad. The room. Everything's I just bad, bad, bad. Except. Ooh. Oh. We are. Ooh. So bright. Where, where, where are we? Oh, Copy City. I don't know, I've never seen the city. What is this? Analysis. This area is composed of crystallized silicon and carbon. Further details unknown. Who built it? Unknown. Interesting. No. Times like this, I wish you Mario wall jump my way around. And have you got Hat in Time yet, or are you still? Oh, I own it. I just haven't played it yet. Oh. That's right, that's right, we mentioned it. <gasps> so why would 9S be down here? Because... Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me... Because... <laughs> Because androids are not the originals, they are always copies of other androids. So, because 9S is a copy, the true 9S is in the copied city! Oh my fucking god, you are losing this shit. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be philosophical here. <laughs> What's with the corpses? It is unlikely the Yorha units came this far on their own. Hypothesis. The enemy must have placed them here deliberately. Wait. Wait. The enemy? Are they infected with a T-virus? I don't know, maybe. They've mentioned a thing called a logic virus before. The T virus from Resident Evil. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. I'm just making a reference that there is a virus that they have mentioned before in here. Oh. If you wanna, you wanna take that and say it's like the T virus, go ahead. Oh, what about that other chest? Uh, it's another locked chest that we don't have the thing to open yet. Oh, I keep, I keep forgetting that you played through this game and that you know what's. Well, I mean, like, I can just walk up to it and it's X'd out. I can't do anything about it. Ah! Uh, like, it, it, it I, wouldn't even ha have had to play with it yet. Like, have pl not played the game yet to know that. Ah, uh, I did not see that. Yeah, there's an X over the but the action button to open it. Ooh, that's a fancy outfit. Ooh! Guess we're going to the clock tower. Watch out for Medusa heads. <laughs> do, 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 do. Welcome <laughs> to my beloved city. Adam, why? <laughs> I'm a little upset you knew immediately I, it was Adam and not Eve. Machine life forms, I suppose, have a keen I, interest in humanity. Wow, wow, we so it was 50 50 shot. Family, religion, war. The more human records I unearth, the more charmed <laughs> I am by their complexity. 
city is one of many areas I created out of a desire to understand. Oh shit, that's right. Eve is also male. It's yeah. grand, don't you think? Almost spiritual. And yet it's currently nothing more than an android graveyard. I seek to learn and adopt all facets of humanity. Some desired love, others family. Only You're insane. Then did I realize the truth? The core of humanity is conflict. They fight, steal, kill. This is humanity in its purest form. You know nothing about humanity. <laughs> Have I offended you, little android? Did I speak ill of your Aww. beloved humans? The truth can be so painful. I strive to attain nothing less than the essence of humanity itself. We machines exist in a connected network. We are immortal, invincible. And yet, within all those infinite bits of data, there exists not even the merest flicker of being of life, death, even the concept of death, has no meaning to us. Thus I decided that I shall risk my life in battle. I have severed my connection to the network. Now, let us embrace death. And then somewhere, somewhere in the distance you hear, did you be, did I embrace you? Oh God. Oh my god! Oh man. I prepared this just for you. I mean, after all, we all need something to fight for, don't we? You son of a... I'll kill you! Yes! That's it. That's the feeling. Pure hate! <laughs> Come to me! Oh my god! Come on, don't you like this? This is history after all. This is insane. Is it insane? I mean, do you look do the hate a lot? I mean, you know. Whether real or imagined, they do good things a lot. And if you want to break everything down in its base form, it is technically a war in every sense of the word if you want to think of it that way. Ooh, that would hurt. Ooh. I mean, you know, what is finding, like, a significant other? It's a war to find one before somebody else finds that person. I guess. So 
There you go. Is this death? Oh my god. It's so dark. Um it's a lot of blood for someone that's just a robot. Although I guess you could argue that it's like transmission fluid because that's red. Nine Is 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 he a cyborg? <laughs> oh, um, maybe. Shut up! You know, you know. Nine S. Two P. Oh my God. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> Uh... Oh my god. You know, with that, let's just call it an episode! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, next time Damn. on the Animata! Yes, really um, through hell. But you're the boss. Stop! You want what happened? You know? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you're right on your end! <laughs> Oh my god! You okay? You know what the hell is <laughs> happening. You know what the hell is happening. You're right. And, I... and you know what's great? You're doing the exact same shit I did the first time through. I'm loving it. And I hate you so much! <laughs> I am shaking my water bottle at, this, at my screen <laughs> angrily. Let's hope the cat doesn't if... come off. It's sealed on very tight. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. Okay. Why? Why would I? Why would I shake my water bottle angrily if there was any chance the, the cap would be loose? Because you forgot. I I I have better <laughs> judgment than that. I have better. Your judgment, judgment doesn't than that. matter if you forgot. If you didn't think about it in your rage and hatred at me. Also, no. Look. No. Look. See, Adam's right. Humans hate each other. You hate me right now. <laughs> I, 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 I sealed the cap before I shook it angrily. <laughs> but, yes, we will get back to this on the next episode. I love it.